Hey guys, welcome back to Fruitopia. I haven't needed to water um, the garden all summer until February came round. So as you can see I've got the sprinkler running for the first time since last year, basically since uh, summer 22 slash 23. Yeah, we've had a very wet and unusually humid summer here in Melbourne, Australia. As a matter of fact, we're going to be having a, a second heat wave um, this weekend. We had a mini heat wave last weekend, and now we're going to have a three or four day heat wave. So I'm getting everything soaked and um, moist. And the reason for that, guys, is because we haven't had any rain. For the whole month of February, it's been dry, dry as a bone. So today's video is about why on earth would I be still having problems with mangoes after all these years, right? The latest um, victim, if you would like to use that word, seems to be this guy. Yeah. The Carabao, the one I got from Vu back in early spring, doesn't seem happy, not happy at all. He showed the first sign of uh, um, something wrong exactly five days ago. You might have seen it in the um, banana removal video. And uh, it's gone downhill since. And I still can't work out why. Now, many of you will say, oh, you overwatered that. You overwatered it, George. You killed the tree by oversaturating it. Well, maybe I did. But guys, I didn't do anything different for this as for all the other mangoes, right? I mean, look, the acerola. It got the same amount of water. Look how perky it is. Can you see the um, the branches sticking up? <clears throat> same soil, same fence, same sun. Where is the sun? Up there somewhere. Yeah, same, same. So I really don't know what's going on. Uh, I checked the soil, first thing I did. And yeah, it is moist. And it should be, it should be moist, it shouldn't be dry. If we're gonna have 37 Celsius, right? If we're going to have a heat wave, you don't want it to be dry. So last week, when we had the first heat wave, I saturated the soil in preparation, in the lead up to the 37 degree day, right? And the following day, when it was 37, it started drooping. It started doing this on me. I, I removed these a couple of days ago. It started doing this to me right there this is a week ago it did this so I thought what the heck's going on is it too dry so I stuck my finger in here and it was moist right it wasn't dry it was moist so I thought well I'll give it another watering a second drenching and as soon as I did that wow it went then then all the old leaves all the old leaves these ones here started um, dying back right it's 37 degrees guys this should not be happening if one waters over waters one's mango right it shouldn't happen it didn't happen to the acerola and it didn't happen to the Kensington pride that also got saturated the same amount of water maybe more Right? It didn't happen to the Valencia Pride, although this has this has been really strange. 
for the last month. I don't know why the leaves haven't perked up yet. See those leaves there? They've been like that for six weeks. These new ones, these green ones. I don't know what's going on. And it's set fruit. What the heck? We definitely don't want any fruit, Mr. Valencia Pride. What? Yeah, so now we have another issue. This guy wants a fruit at the end of summer. So, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know why uh, mangoes don't love me. And this is the Florigon. Now, I'm afraid to water this. Right? It's got new growth. See the new growth? They came out a couple of weeks ago. Right? What am I meant to do with this new growth? Just walk past it and ignore it when it's 37? Or water it? <sighs> I tested the soil on this Florigon last week and it was bone dry. I couldn't sense any moisture in the soil at all. Nothing. So I penetrated it with a hose and I saturated it. I saturated the, the ground. That was like uh, five days ago. And thankfully, it hasn't gone backwards. So, the same saturation I gave to the Florigon, the Kensington Pride, the Valencia Pride, I gave to the Carabao guys, the Manila Mango. And they said, nope, I'm not taking any of that saturation. It, it just boils down to bad luck. Because I did everything else right, right? Full sun. And by the way, I never watered it at all during um, January when we had uh, all that rain. So you guys tell me what else could be wrong other than, you know, mangoes don't love me. Oh, they don't love me, guys. So now I'm afraid to water anything. Um, known as mango like this new guy that I planted right I've been watering him every single day since he was planted a week ago he's been in the ground now for um, seven days no sorry he's been in the ground ten days this uh, KP um, seedling what do I ignore him do I just leave him there in dry in dry in dry soil, this is where the abu was. You know the second abu that, that um, went to heaven? Of course I'm going to water him. Of course I'm going to water these guys. I'm going to saturate it, actually. I'm not, I'm not, just, I'm not, just, I'm not going to just water it. I'm going to water it till the water is running away. That's how, it, that's how it works with every other tree. So why do mangoes give up on me when I water them? Anyone know? And by the way, I'm talking about midsummer with 100 Fahrenheit temperatures, not in winter time. It's not winter, guys, it's midsummer. The same with this soursop. I saturated it twice this week until the water was flowing downstream. So why isn't he why isn't he giving up the ghost? Or any of these sooks? I watered the mame, I watered the um, uh, what's, he, what's his name? Sapodia? I don't water him too much. I've heard that Sapodia doesn't like much uh, water. Uh, and I watered the canistel, right? Look how happy he is. And the lychee. Everything got saturated. But there's only one casualty, and it's the Manila mango. Mm. I even saturated this new lychee which went in the ground around the same time as the manila mango. He's got a lot of new growth, just like the carabao had. You know that new growth I just showed you and it turned black? So, yeah. So I'm very disappointed, to say the least. I actually have the blues, guys. I have the mango blues. <laughs> I feel like I want to write a song. Anyone out there good at songwriting? Yeah, I saturated the black sapoti. If I put my finger in the dirt, it's mud. So why isn't this muddy black sapoti um, getting dye back? You know why? Because it's the middle of summer, that's why. How on earth would he die back? 
no matter how much water I give him, if it's blazing hot without any rain, not a drop. It's not Brisbane, guys. Check out Brisbane. It's been raining there day and night. Wow. Not here. So that's the video. I just wanted to be uh, upfront and um, share everything, guys. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And that's the, um, the ugly. Well, the bad and the ugly. Nothing good here. Nothing good at all. Well, there might be something good. I don't know. Seems to be trying to do something here. I don't know what that is there. I'm trying to come with new growth. That's been there for a week. That's been like that before. Before the dieback. And where else? At the top here. Seems to be something going on. But again, it's been there for over a week. I don't know if that, anything will come with that. And that. All right. Yeah, that there. I don't know if anything will come with that either. So, and there's all these, uh, yeah, no, even, 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 the, the, even the stems aren't looking good. See how they've got lines on them? Hang on. See the lines on the stems? That's a dieback sign. That even the, the these stems are dying back. Yep. So, looks like we have uh, another dead Manila mango. I had two of them last year, last summer, which I lost. They were seedlings. I lost two seedlings. And now I've lost a grafted Manila mango. Well, I haven't lost it yet because it's original leaves that were on the tree. When I got the tree, I still fine. The original leaves are fine, right? They haven't been affected at all. It's only the young new leaves, the ones that came over December, January, these, these ones that have been affected. So there's still a slight, a slight chance um, it'll recoup. Yeah. Today we're going to have 32, 33 Celsius. Tomorrow 37, and the day after tomorrow 35. Of course I'm going to water the plants, guys. Of course I am. I'm going to saturate them. I'm also afraid now to water the um, Bowen seedling, the one that's been there for three years. I touched the soil, and it was dry. Right? This guy. Look how happy and perky he is. What am I meant to do? Let the soil remain dry? This guy needs to be saturated, it needs to be flooded. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if he doesn't like it, well, oh well, right? The, the only trees I have problems with when it comes to watering slash overwatering are mangoes, sapodilla, and, and they're all sooks, of course. They, they happen to be in the sook family. I never have these problems with the white sapodi or, or citrus, right? Um, the other, the other sook that doesn't like to be overwatered is the lychee. Yeah. All right, guys. That's the video. So, yeah, please share your, um, opinion of what could have gone wrong. And, by the way, I haven't given any fertilizer to any of these trees. At all. Just a little compost. Right, that's it. No, no strange bruise or anything um, strong. Nothing. Okay. Please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you from the next one. Bye, guys.